Today, I'm going to be talking about a stunning technique that can create realistic 3D scenes from just a few photos or videos in real time. It's called 3D Gaussian splatting, and it was developed by four genius researchers from France. What is 3D Gaussian splatting? 3D Gaussian splatting is a novel view synthesis technique that uses 3D Gaussians to represent the scene with sparse points that preserve the properties of continuous volumetric radiance fields while avoiding unnecessary computation in empty space. A 3D Gaussian is a mathematical function that describes a probability distribution over a 3D space. It has three parameters, a mean vector that specifies the center of the distribution, a covariance matrix that specifies the shape and orientation of the distribution, and a weight that specifies the intensity of the distribution. The authors of 3D Gaussian splatting propose to use 3D Gaussians as a way to encode both the geometry and appearance of the scene. Each 3D Gaussian represents a small patch of the scene surface with its position, normal, color, and opacity. By using 3D Gaussians, they can capture both smooth surfaces and sharp edges with high accuracy. How does it work? 3D Gaussian splatting works by using an interleaved optimization and density control algorithm that alternates between two steps, optimization and pruning. In the optimization step, they use a neural network to predict an initial set of 3D Gaussians from each input image or video frame. Then they refine these 3D Gaussians by minimizing a photometric loss function that measures how well they reproduce the input images or video frames. In particular, they optimize not only the mean and weight of each 3D Gaussian, but also its covariance matrix. This allows them to adjust the shape and orientation of each 3D Gaussian to better fit the scene surface. In the pruning step, they remove redundant or occluded 3D Gaussians by using a density control algorithm that measures how much each 3D Gaussian contributes to the final rendering. This way, they can reduce the number of 3D Gaussians without losing much visual quality. By using this interleaved optimization and density control algorithm, they can obtain a compact and accurate representation of the scene with only tens of thousands of 3D Gaussians. How does it render novel views? To render novel views from these 3D Gaussians, they use a fast, visibility-aware rendering algorithm that supports anisotropic splatting and both accelerates training and allows real-time rendering. Anisotropic splatting is a technique that projects each 3D Gaussian onto the image plane according to its covariance matrix. This way, they can preserve the shape and orientation of each 3D Gaussian in the rendered image. However, anisotropic splatting alone is not enough to handle occlusions correctly. To solve this problem, they use a visibility-aware rendering algorithm that computes a depth map for each input image or video frame by using multi-view stereo. Then they use this depth map to determine which 3D Gaussians are visible from each viewpoint and which ones are occluded. This way, they can render novel views with correct occlusion handling. By using this fast, visibility-aware rendering algorithm, they can achieve real-time rendering of novel views with high visual quality. What are the benefits of 3D Gaussian splatting? First, it can generate realistic and diverse novel views of scenes captured with multiple photos or videos. This means that you can use it to create immersive virtual reality experiences or enhance your video editing skills. Second, it is more efficient and robust than previous novel view synthesis techniques. It uses fewer parameters and less memory than other methods, and it can handle complex scenes with varying lighting conditions and camera motions. Third, it is available as an open source code on GitHub. You can download it and try it out for yourself. What are the limitations of 3D Gaussian splatting? First, it requires multiple images or videos as input. It cannot generate novel views from a single image or video. Second, it may not capture very fine details or thin structures in some scenes. This is because it uses sparse points to represent the scene, and it may miss some features that are not well captured by the input images or video frames. Third, it may not work well for scenes that have large occlusions or non-Lambertian surfaces. This is because it relies on multi-view stereo to compute the depth map, and it may not handle these cases well. 
Comparison with other techniques. There are many other novel view synthesis techniques available, such as NIREF, IDR, and DVR. 3D Gaussian splatting is compared to these techniques in their paper. The paper shows that 3D Gaussian splatting outperforms these techniques in terms of visual quality, rendering speed, and memory efficiency. It also shows that 3D Gaussian splatting can handle more challenging scenes than these techniques, such as scenes with dynamic objects or large camera motions. 3D Gaussian splatting is a novel technique for novel view synthesis that uses 3D Gaussians to represent the scene with sparse points. It can generate realistic and diverse novel views of scenes captured with multiple photos or videos in real time. It is more efficient and robust than previous techniques, and it is available as an open source code on GitHub. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you found this video informative. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos on technology and artificial intelligence.